Welcome to the Two Minute Update. The Fort Collins Area Chamber is pleased to provide you with a quick download on what's happening with City Council each week. Key topics for the July 28th City Council work session included an update on the Broadband Strategic Plan and a review of the Northern Integrated Supply Project, or NISP. The City has identified the increasing importance of broadband services to the community and has started to develop a broadband strategic plan that will help the City to better understand the community's current and future expectations regarding both residential and business services and how those needs can best be met. The City will be considering everything from doing nothing all the way to the City providing high-speed broadband services for citizen and business purchase. One of the barriers to fully investigating all options available to the City is Senate Bill 152, passed in 2005, that prohibits local government from having any direct or indirect involvement in providing broadband services. The City is on track to ask voters to set aside Senate Bill 152 during the November 3rd election. You'll see tons of outreach related to the ballot language over the next several weeks at community events and more. Stay tuned for the final ballot language and next steps. The second item on the work session agenda was a review of NISP, a municipal water storage and supply project being proposed by the Northern Colorado Water Conservancy District. City staff is reviewing the Supplemental Draft Environmental Impact Statement and the impact of the project on the Poudre River. Once the review is complete, the City will share comments on the project with the Army Corps of Engineers. While staff acknowledges that the latest draft is better than the first one, they did express concern about the impacts of the project on the city, including water quality and habitat. Staff will return by September 1 with additional research and final recommendations for comments by the council on the project. While the city of Fort Collins isn't a direct participant in this project, it is important to note that the Fort Collins Loveland Water District, which serves the southern portion of Fort Collins, will benefit from the increased storage and supply delivered by NISP. We'll see if that comment comes up at the next review and whether or not the council will acknowledge that increased storage, whether for the city itself or for others, is tremendously important to the future of our state. Thanks for sharing your time with us. We look forward to seeing you next week. Created using Powtoon.